Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we will be checking out how do you install Google Cloud command line utility on your system. Now, to start with, let's do a quick Google search for installing Google Cloud command line utility on... Okay, let's just search with installing Google Cloud command line utility. Now you see this Cloud SDK. So Cloud SDK means Cloud Software Development Kit. Let's go into this. And then it asks, what machine do you want to install for? In this video, we are doing it for Mac OS X. So we'll continue with install for Mac OS X. All right, so now here you have multiple ways of doing it. You could see the package link, which you could download and directly put into the path on your machine. However, we want to do it using the interactive installer way. So, I would go ahead in installing the SDK and click using the installer. So, this interactive installer helps you do it within a single command as opposed to you having to download it and then putting it somewhere on your path. I'll put the direct link to this particular page in the description. Now, let's just follow this command. So, I'm selecting this command and copying it. You could use this shortcut which says click to copy. So let's click on this. It says copy to clipboard and now open your terminal app. Now you could just open spotlight by pressing command and space and type terminal. It will show you the terminal app automatically and go in that. So here is my terminal. I'll just zoom it in a bit. All right. Now the command that we copied, I'll just paste it here. And I'll run it. So you could see it's downloading the Google Cloud SDK. Once the download has finished, it will start doing the installation. So it's asking me whether I want to install it in my home directory, which is users slash the username, which is home in my case. I'll just let it be like that. I'll just press enter and not do any changes there. So then it goes on installing. Installation is basically just creating all these files within the directory which we just specified and after doing that it's now running install.sh from google cloud sdk directory now when it runs install.sh it automatically asks you a few things which sets up g cloud on your terminal so that you can use it next time when you open your terminal so it want, it's, it's now asking me if I want to help improve Google Cloud SDK. What this basically means, it will send some usage statistics to Google Cloud in an anonymized way, which Google can use to help improve, to basically help improve G Cloud utility in general. I'll just press no and move on for now. All right, and here the installation starts. So once the installation is done, it will show you some additional steps to set up G Cloud as we said earlier. Let it finish the post processing steps. All right. So now it's asking me if I want to modify the path variable and enable shell completion. So what this basically means is now I'll leave it here as it is and I'll press command N or I'll actually press new window. And I'll show you the current value of path. So the current value of path is this. Now what it is saying is, do you want to add the path which was slash users slash home slash Google cloud SDK to your dollar path variable? If it does that, next time when you just press G cloud, it will automatically show up. So now currently if I press G cloud and I press enter, it says command not found. Let's go ahead and let it add to the path. So I'll press yes to it. So it's now asking me that do you want us to add path to an RC file to update? Leave it blank to use. So I'll just leave it blank. This is the default startup path, uh, file that is used by my terminal app. And it's done. So now if I open a new window again and I pass eco dollar path you'll see that Google Cloud SDK bin has been added to my path. Previously, Google Cloud SDK was not present. Oh, I'm just trying to gather the windows. Just a moment, please. 
All right. So previously the part was this, and now the new path is this. So basically, all it did is it just appended the path to the installation directory of Google Cloud SDK to my dollar path variable. So now when I run G Cloud, it finds it. It no longer shows the error, which is command not found. So we are done with G Cloud installation. You could just run a quick G Cloud version to see the version of Google Cloud SDK, which is installed on your machine. Google Cloud SDK comes by default with GS Util and some other, uh, some other utilities and the version for them as well is shown here. So in the next video, we'll be looking at how to set up G Cloud by G, by setup, I mean how to initialize G Cloud to use your Google account so you can start managing Google Cloud platform resources directly from your machine. Now, before we get there, uh, this is it for now. I'll go ahead and create the next video and you'll find the link for it in my videos list. So thanks a lot for watching guys. Uh, don't forget to leave comments on whether you liked it or not, anything that you know I could improve. Uh, also, please don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Press the like button. It encourages me to create more of this. Thank you so much once again.